My favorite screen capture tool is Snagit, but it does cost money and it doesn't work in a Chromebook. So I also have this extension called Nimbus and I'm gonna show you how to install it first. I'm gonna to go to the Chrome Web Store and I'm gonna search for Nimbus and it's the first extension that shows up right now. And I click add to Chrome and say add the extension. You do have to be logged into Google Chrome with any Google account you like. Once it's added, it's gonna show up here and even opens up a tutorial for you. So let's have a look how we use this. You can grab it to select an area and whatever area you like. You can even edit that area. Within that area, you can annotate it. You can draw some arrows or you can hand write on top, whoops, hand write on top of it. Or you can add some text if you'd like to. And when you're done, click done. Now the image shows up here. You can share it through its own Nimbus node if you like, or I can just go ahead and say right click copy the image. And then if I was in a Google Doc as an example or Microsoft Word, I can right click and paste it. So it's that quick and easy to get anything on the web because that's always sitting there for you. So you can snag anything you like using Nimbus. Or if you'd like, we can make a video. So the same idea for video, we scroll down to record video. When you record a video, it's gonna give you an option to desktop record, meaning anything on your desktop and it can break it up. Or I like the tab record, meaning just this tab that I'm looking at is what I'm gonna record right now. It'll give me a, a countdown, three, two, one. I need to allow my microphone and now it's recording. And let me go back to this tab I was on. So it's recording on this tab and I can tell it's recording here. I can move my cursor around, I can talk. And when I'm finished my recording, I click and say stop. This, this tab, tab I was on, on. so it's recording on the. It previews it for me immediately. And in the preview then I can play it or I can save the video. I can send it to Nimbus Node if I want and have an account there. Or if I save the video, I can then put it anywhere on my desktop I'd like. We'll call this one uh, test, just so I know which one's which. It's saved right here. And then I can go to my YouTube account, so apps, YouTube. If you don't have a YouTube account, if you have a Google account, you can create a YouTube account. You click on my channel. If you don't have a channel, it'll ask you to create a channel. It looks like I have one already. So I can upload. And all I need to do is drag that video into my upload. Uh, if I want to before, I can say, you know what, I don't want to be public. I think I'll have it unlisted so no one can see it, but you can change that afterwards anyway. As it's uploading, I can change between unlisted and public. Public means you can be searched. Unlisted means that someone needs the link to be able to see your video. So it's processing, click done to confirm. The video is uploaded and there's the YouTube link to it. And there's the embed code too, if I want to embed it into a website. So here's the link. Let's see what that looks like. If I open a new tab and paste that link, this tab I was on, so there's my YouTube video immediately on YouTube, it'd be able to be shared. And again, I can get all my sharing uh, embed codes from here as well. So really quick and easy, Nimbus as an extension for free screencasting.